Hello my friends, welcome back. My name is Jordan and we're back with another video for Not As Home. Welcome to the channel if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. We're gonna finally jump into the maneuver, the maneuvering scenarios that are in the game. Um, I don't know if you wanna call it the maneuvering course, I'm not sure what, what this would be called, but in any case, I'm gonna bring the game up on the screen and let's jump into it. Um, so yeah, we. I showed I showed this in my first video for Not As Home. Basically, when you launch the game, this is what you see. Uh, you have the option of training, free roam, and currently there's two options here for training. And I'm gonna assume that each of these are courses. So we have the introduction course, which we've already gone through all of these items, and then we've got the maneuvering course, which um, there's a fair amount of items here, fair amount of uh, scenarios here. Yeah, there's actually 15 of them in total uh, in the maneuvering section, um, but we're going to start with the first one. So the first one is Sail in a Straight Line. I have not played this at all. I uh, have no idea what to expect, so let's just d dive in and see what it's all about. All right, we're in. So let's see. So we've got in the briefing, we have some objectives on the right side. We have a little write-up on the left side. Let's see. So sail your ship forward in a straight line between the buoys. The scenario is completed when you reach the finish line at the end of the buoys. Okay, and we're dri we're uh, I was gonna say we're driving, but that's definitely not proper. Um, we are piloting. We are commanding the MV Gofrid, which is actually the biggest ship in the game, uh, at 336.8 meters long, 128,000 tons, and um, yeah. So stay between the buoys, pass the final buoys, and it says there's a timer of 20 minutes. All right, let's get going. So we're just gonna give it 100% here. I don't, is this actually gonna take 20 minutes? Doesn't seem like it's that far. Let's see. Yeah, is, is this the final buoy? I would say this is definitely not gonna take 20 minutes, but we'll see. <laughs> So yeah, I've got my uh, my green screen now. So you know, I'm still dealing with some lighting issues. Uh, you can see on the edges, there's some green there. Um, but other than that, I'm not taking up so much real estate on the screen anymore for the webcam. So I'm really happy about that, and um, looking forward to continuing to make some more content for this game. All right, we're starting to pick up speed now. almost at two knots. Oops, that was not the button I wanted. Let's take a look at this ship. This is actually the first time I'm seeing this ship, so this is the bow camera. Not much to see from behind, but you know, it's a pretty view ahead of us. Uh, stern camera. Alright. We've got the starboard wing. I don't know where we're at, but this is a this is a pretty map. We've got the port side wing. Got some nice mountains in the distance, and um, I guess back to binocular. You know, I'm seeing. Is that another sinking boat in the distance? It is. So maybe this is where we finish the one of those scenarios. Um, it might be the same spot, actually. I think it is, because I can see uh, this uh, nuclear power plant in the distance, and I'm pretty sure that was also present on that scenario where you sail around. I think you know, the starting point would be over here, sail around here, and then into this harbor. Um, so yeah, we're in the same spot. Uh, this is what the bridge looks like. Not much to see. Pretty, pretty barren, but you know, it's, it's all good. And let's take a look at the actual ship. MV Shipping. You know, it's a container ship. <laughs> We're at 10 knots right now.
I wish there was more of like a free camera here, but we have what we have. Oh, we're actually veering off course. I guess I was gonna check that. Yeah, we have wind, so uh, the wind is actually gonna keep us from staying in a straight line. So that's where the challenge comes with this uh, particular, with this particular scenario. That being said, though, this ship has an autopilot. Oh, it's disabled. Okay, that's smart. <laughs> I was gonna say, what if I just set the autopilot? Then you know the ship's gonna adjust by itself. But they've thought of that. <laughs> We're at 15.5 knots. still turning? What, what's happening here? It's like I'm ricocheting, you know, um, like a pinball machine. <clears throat> Went to this edge and now I'm heading for the other edge. Oh no! <laughs> Scenario failed. You went outside the buoys, so that's what happens if you fail. Oh shit. Okay. So, you know, you, you learn the hard way, right? So, it's a pretty easy scenario overall. It's just, um, yeah, there is some wind to, there's some wind to deal with here, so. Man, I didn't, I, I didn't expect to actually lose that, but my ship wasn't turning quick enough. <laughs> All right, let's let's try this again. So we're heading due north. According to this, the wind is heading due north as well. A little bit off from north, but maybe that's the challenge. Maybe the wind just slowly changes direction. And then once it gets to a certain point, it starts actually having an effect on the ship. I don't know. I'm just speculating, but <laughs> it looks like it's it's uh, shifting. It's um, not due north. It's it's going to be pushing us to the port side. It's also increasing in speed here.
wish I could like shrink this or move it or something. Like this is a lot to have right in the middle of your screen. Yeah, this this is for sure the same map from uh, the training. There's a there's a little harbor there that you sail out of with the the first two missions, and then yeah, this is where you come from in the second mission and you go over into this little harbor. So yeah, it's the same same little spot. I think they call this training islands or something. I can't believe I failed in sailing in a straight line. That's just embarrassing. I see the difference in the wind here now. Okay. So relative is uh, taking into account how quickly the ship is actually moving versus the true speed, which is taking the movement of the ship out of the equation. All right, good to know. At least that's what I think. <laughs> that's what I feel is correct here. I remember when um, I did my first video explaining the UI, uh, I didn't really know in detail what, what this toggle did, but I feel like that's what it is, because there's 0.5 difference between that's this speed listed here and this speed here, and so that's telling me that the wind is 0.5 knots. Makes sense, right? That's pretty easy once you get the, the hang of it, the gist. And it is coming from behind, so uh, right now the wind is 0 degrees and it's 0 0.5 knots, so it's actually pushing us in a straight line. I'd like to know why they decided to set it at the, set the dates to 2017. That's a little strange to me. Um, I have seen comments though about the fact that the game is using the same engine as Ship Simulator Extremes, which, you know, I, I don't know if that's true or not, but I know that um, it takes a while to build a game engine, so yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they were using uh, the same or similar engine um, and just building onto it or like, adding onto it. Um, which would make sense if, you know, that's the, the date at the top. Still, the little details. <laughs> Alright, are we gonna do it this time? Are we, are we gonna make it to the end? It looks like we are. We're at 20 knots. I think the max speed for the ship is 22 knots, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong though.
22 knots. Wind is still coming from behind 0 0.5 knots. And it looks like we're gonna make it. I guess the ship has to fully get over the line for it to count. There it is. Scenario completed, you made it. Victory. There it is. I was waiting for the other box. So yeah, there's no uh, scores 20 out of 20. It's the first 20 we got. Uh, time left is 12 minutes, 29 seconds. I wasn't really going for a speed run, but there you go, so it was only about eight minutes long to, to successfully complete this. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me for this scenario. Uh, I will be back in another video with the next scenario. If you're interested in seeing that, feel free to check it out. I do recommend you subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification so that you are notified when I post new videos. That's because I'm, uh, you know, this is a hobby channel for me. This, is, um, this isn't my full-time gig. Uh, I have other things going on in life, so Sometimes I'm able to, to get content out, sometimes there's little lulls in between. So definitely feel free to subscribe if you're looking to keep up to date with the content that I'm posting. Um, otherwise, let me know you like this video by liking it down below and leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the scenario. Uh, and until next time, take care and I will see you soon.